So the other day I was on Twitter and I saw a BMF VR tweet about a Pokemon TCG tournament in Hartford, Connecticut, which is right in my backyard. So I bought my weekend ticket and was on my way. I showed up not knowing what to expect, but that's when I learned a valuable lesson about the tournament structure. The World Championship is for the best players around the globe, and in 2023 it's in Yokohama, Japan. Below that is the International Championships, held in North America, Europe, Oceania, and Latin America. And then below that is the Regional Championships, which are still pretty rare. There was only 15 in North America. America this year, but still it's not as big of an event as like the world championship, for example. And so when I showed up for the regional championship, it was a lot smaller than I was expecting. The entrance had these cool medals for the winners. The back of the convention hall had a lot of car dealers, but for the most part, the venue was just a bunch of tables set up for people competing with each other. The event was all weekend long, but I showed up on the first day and did everything I could in about 20 minutes. So I was bored, I was bummed, I was sad. BMF VR was nowhere to be seen. My stalking network didn't pay off and I was feeling down on myself but right when I was about to leave there was a most curious opportunity that I stumbled onto there was a crumpled up piece of paper attached to the wall and it said we need volunteers scan here so naturally I was curious one thing I noticed about the event was all these staff members had lit shirts on these were jersey quality dry fit shirts that said Pokemon staff on it how cool is that and so the light bulb started firing off in my head if I can volunteer and if I can convince them to accept me maybe I can get one of the cool shirts so I decided to scan the code and apply and I'm gonna keep it a stack with you guys I quickly found out that I was severely underqualified as a candidate for example it asked for my Pokemon player ID I don't have one are you a Pokemon professor? And I guess a professor is someone who studied the card game and has taken an exam to prove their knowledge. And, uh, no, I, I have not done that. I'm not a Pokemon professor. And last but not least, two references currently on the staff for the event. I didn't have any references. I've never done this before. So basically, I just gave them my name, email, and phone number and shot out a prayer. So I went home that night feeling like a failure. But somehow, against all odds, they decided to message me back saying I'd been selected. Which is mind-blowing. They must have had, like, no volunteers that day. But being completely honest, I knew I couldn't do this alone. So I called up my only friend that's goofy enough to do this with me. TikTok Titan, Meme Page Master, Super Duper Suro. Yay! He instantly agreed, drove up to my place to stay the night, and we fortnighted the night away to ready ourselves for the ultimate day of volunteering. All right, Justin, can you explain what we're trying to experiment with right now? So we are sitting directly next to each other, just trying to figure out the volume, like speaking to each other. So we're in a Discord together. <laughs> yeah, we're in the Discord, but we're also sitting right next to each other. The next day we showed up nervous because we weren't really sure who to talk to to start volunteering. Additionally, Super Duper Sura wasn't picked to volunteer. I was the only one who got the text message. So we were hoping we could just show up together and they would let him volunteer also. We finally got a hold of the right people and they were eager for our help. At this point though, I was hit with some terrifying news. Super Duper Sero got to be a video game judge, which is the easiest position of all time. The people hook up their games, they battle each other, and you just watch in the background to make sure nothing goes wrong. I, though, did not get that luck. I was given the position of TCG judge, which meant I had to judge the trading card game. And plot twist, I don't know how to play the game. I collect the cards, I have thousands, but like, I don't know the rules of the game. Collecting is easy. It's just the shinier the card, the better it is, you know? More shininess, more happiness, you know? It's, it's a simple system, it's beautiful, it's elegant. But I didn't know how to judge anything. And and I told them, I was like, hey, I, I don't know how to do this. And they were like, oh, you'll learn. You'll learn so fast. Don't worry. You'll be great. So even though I was wildly freaked out, I accepted my responsibilities and tried my best. I had to put my camera away because this volunteering was hectic. This was real work. So we were only able to get a few quick shots from our phone of me actually volunteering. The work, though, was a bit overwhelming. I will not lie. So many people had questions. I didn't know any of the answers. And so the strategy I learned was that I would just find a few super knowledgeable players. And whenever someone asked me something, I'd run to the knowledgeable players and be like, hey, like, what would you do in this situation? They would teach me, and then I would go back to other people and teach them, and it was kind of a cool system. It ended up working itself out. I eventually learned the ropes. After a few hours, my name was finally called, and I got my first break of the day. I'm finally on break for 15 minutes. Oh my god, I'm completely gassed. Holy crap, it's non-stop rapid fire. I feel like I'm learning the whole game, which is pretty sick, but I also feel like I'm about to fall over and die. It's pretty hectic. What's up? So I'm on break. I got fries oh my goodness and they sauced me free nugs i was just nice to them and they like i love people man i love people sometimes just not my subscribers you're all finished so they said the chicken sandwich was to die for and that is what i've obtained we're gonna see how good it is especially because it's six o'clock i haven't eaten food yesterday I don't know what it is about like basic hole in the wall food. This is just a convention center's chicken, but it really hits the spot. Thank you guys had a 
break, man. Don't film. Hey, don't film. <laughs> I thought his name was Ash Ketchum, not Ash Ketchup. <laughs> Oh my god, was it needed. My shift ended, I worked a little more, and after six hours, we finally got released for the day. But most importantly, we went home drippy. Look at these shirts, these are sick shit. Dripped out of our mind. After a long night's rest, we returned for the final day. This time, we weren't volunteering, we were just showing up as regular guests, and we wanted to see if we could find BMFER. We looked high and low, I searched his Twitter to see if he was mentioning the event, he was not. And after a thorough search, we decided to call it a day. Before leaving though, we showed up to the staff office to claim our volunteer compensation. And this is when we were hit with the surprise of a lifetime. Now on the application, it said that all volunteers would receive an event shirt, an event badge, and three Pokemon packs for every hour you worked. Super Duper Sir and I worked for six hours, which meant we were expecting 18 packs, which is pretty cool. But when we went to pick up our compensation, we received so much more. Oh my God. First and foremost, we received a booster box, which has 36 packs in it. That is way more than we were promised. They then gave us an official event playmat, which is super nice material. I think they were selling for like 50 bucks. And even though I don't play the card game, this thing makes for a great mouse pad. The biggest surprise though, is that we received not one, but two very special Pokemon cards. The first card we received was Arvin. And if you look close enough at it, you'll see a Pokemon Regional Championship badge on it. These were only handed out to people who directly participated in the event. You can never get these from a card pack. Having one of them is really rare. But it's nothing in comparison to this next card, which is also Arvin. You'll see the same Pokemon Regional Championship badge, but if you look closely, you'll also notice the word staff in the bottom left. These are staff cards, and the only way you can receive them is from physically working on the staff at these events. These are so phenomenally rare and I'm hyped to have such a crown jewel in my card collection. But I'm so hyped that I was able to turn my stalking trip into the ultimate side quest. I became a Pokemon master and I have the card to prove it. If you enjoyed hearing this story, be sure to check out this video where I accidentally broke into a VR convention. It's a great story. Thank you all for watching and remember, stay chubby. Rah!